दसन कांति चूर्णे सहित लीव आयुष दंताले पे दत्तुल एति प्रश्न दहायक वालकाई The Human Rights Commission of Sri Lanka had stated that the power cuts in the country violate the rights of children sitting for the 2022 GCE advanced level examinations. Accordingly, on the 23rd of January, the HRC has still informed the chairman of the Public Utilities Commission and the secretary of the Ceylon Electricity Board to take steps to avoid implementing power cuts during the exam period. Following this, top officials at the PUC YSL, the CB and the CPC held discussions on the 25th of January. and decided to ensure uninterrupted supply of power until the GC A level exam concludes on the 17th of February however the upper management of the CB had informed the PUCSL that they had decided to implement power cuts as per the previous schedule and requested the PUCSL to grant approval for the move however the chairman of the PUCSL Janaka Ratnayaka rejected the request made by the CB after considering the inconvenience cost 331000 students sitting for the exam The PUCSL further requested the public to inform the authority if power supplies disrupted during the duration of the A-level exam. The general public can reach the PUCSL on WhatsApp on the number 077-568-7387 and through email by sending emails to consumers at pucsl.gov.lk. The PUCSL highlighted that it had not allowed the CB to interrupt power supply from the 26th of January until the 17th of February. It further stated that in this backdrop, The CB does not have the authority to implement power cuts. As such, Janaka Ratnayaka said today that if the CB does not reassure that it will not disrupt power supply by Monday, the PUCSL will take legal action against the CB.